Hello, welcome once again to India Edu Tutorials. Today we are going to start a new topic which is work and time. This topic is very common in many aptitude questions whether it's CAT, GMAT or other engineering examinations. The basic funda that you need to understand while solving problems related to work and time is if a person say there are two persons A and B if A completes a work in X days and B completes a work in Y days and if we consider that the unit of doing that the unit of the work is one that is there is one work then in one day A will do one by X of work similarly in one day B will do one upon Y of the work because total days required by A to complete this one unit of work is X days and total unit required by B to complete this one unit of work is Y days. So in one day A will do 1 upon X of the work and B will do 1 upon Y of the work. So work done by A and B is in case of units is defined as 1 by X and 1 by Y. If we need to calculate work done by A and B that is A plus B together they will do work 1 upon X plus 1 upon Y in one day or taking the LCM you can say X, Y, Y plus X. So in one day together A and B will do X plus Y upon X, Y. Now this work can also be calculated in terms of percentages where instead of taking one we say 100% that is the work is denoted as 100%. So work done by A in this case would be 100 by X that is out of 100% how many work he has completed is 100 by X. So this is the work done by A in one day. Similarly work done by B in one day would be 100 upon Y and work done by A and B in one day will be 100 upon x plus 100 upon y. Now let's see more concepts related to work and time. So let's discuss some more concepts which are related to work and time. First one is concept of negative work. While solving the problems related to work and time, we generally come across the problems where negative work is also given. That is, say for example, if there are three persons, A, B and C, A and B are doing some work. Say, they are building a wall. But this third person, C, is destroying it. So, total work done will be equal to work done by A plus work done by B minus work done by C. Say if work done by A is 1 upon X, work done by B in one day is 1 upon Y and work done by C that is the work of destroying the wall is 1 by Z. Then the total work done or the wall will be built as 1 upon X plus 1 upon Y minus 1 upon Z. Work equivalence method. Now, while solving the questions, this is this equation is generally used, which is work rate into time into work is equal to work done. Say if there are four men who are working, say they are working for eight hours per day, and all of them are having the same efficiency, then the total work done would be work rate. That is how what they are doing in a single day. Say it's 1 by x into total time. That is 8 hours or say 6 days or whatever it is is equal to work done. Now, there are special cases where work is also done in case of volume. Say if you are going to build a building or you are going to build a wall or something 
then by building a wall you require length breadth and height so if there are two cases then one represents here the first case whereas two represents the second case and formula to calculate that how much wall will be built or say any work which is calculated in volume will be equal to length 1 into breadth 1 into height 1 divided by length of the second case breadth of the second case into height of the second case is equal to m1 t1 d1 divided by m2 t2 and t2 m here represents the number of men who are working or who are building that wall t represents the total time that they are denoting per day on daily basis whether they are denoting 8 hours, 4 hours or 6 hours and D here represents the number of days for which they are working. Say they are working for 8 hours per day till 10 days and 2 here represents the second case. So using this equation you can solve problem related to this. Now the last concept which comes with work and time is the concept of efficiency. Now uh, while solving the questions we generally come that A is twice more efficient than B. This means that A can complete the work by B in half of the time. Say if B takes 4 hours to complete the work then A will take only 2 hours or we can also say that in the time that B is, B is using to complete the work B can do a can do that work twice in that same amount of period. Now all these concepts will be more clear by some examples. The example says A can lay railway track between two given stations in 16 days and B can do the same job in 12 days. With help of C they did the job in 4 days only. Find the time in which C alone can do the job. Now to solve the questions first of all you need to find out the work done by people in single day. So work done by A he completes the work in total 16 days so in one day A will do 1 by 16th of the work. Similarly in one day B will do 1 by 12 of the work but they all that is A, B and C together completed the work in 4 days. So A plus B plus C did the work in 4 days. Their one day work will be equal to A plus B plus C's one day work will be equal to 1 by 4. Now this work will be equal to A's one day work plus B's one day work plus C's one day work is equal to total work done by them. So A's one day work plus B's one day work plus C's one day work is equal to total one day work. Now A's one day work is 1 by 16 plus B's one day work 1 by 12. C's one day work we need to find out Cx and then this is equal to total one day work is 1 by 4. So value of x is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 by 16 minus 1 by 12. Taking LCM, solve this, you will get 5 by 48. Now, this is the work done by C in one day. So, total days in which C can complete the work will be its reciprocal. So, total days in which C can complete work will be 48 by 5 or say 9 3 by 5 days in this way you can solve the examples for more tutorials stay tuned with indiaedu.com